on September 3rd, 1983, Bavia, at the age of 26, admitted herself into the psychiatric ward of Riverside General Hospital in Riverside, California. She was almost totally paralyzed by cerebral palsy and had severe degenerate arthritis, which caused her great pain. She basically gave up on life. She couldn't find a job, couldn't support herself because she basically had too many seizures to do that. And so she checked herself into Riverside General Hospital in order to have a nice, somewhat comfortable place where she could starve herself to death. At the hospital, she was force fed in order to keep her alive, despite the fact that she came there to die. She brought her problem to court, and they ruled that a patient who isn't completely insane has the right to refuse medical treatment, even if it may save his or her life. When the courts ruled that a person did have the right to die, the courts created the basic form of the advanced directive. And by doing so, the courts allowed for anyone who came to the hospital, whether to pick whether to receive treatment or not, even if the treatment did prolong their life, the patient could choose to refuse it and kill themselves. But the amount of fighting that it took in order for the courts to make a decision would be enough to fill another two world wars. The opposition, other disability activists, people who should have been helping Elizabeth Bovia, couldn't really get her story. After all, they claimed, if she had enough motor control to pull the feeding tubes out of her, was she really that disabled? And her not finding any employment? There were plenty of people just as paralyzed as her who were able to find work. So all of this raises the question, was Elizabeth really that helpless? Or did she just hate her life that much?